Alrighty guys, it's almost the end of an era. I've been spending this afternoon sorting out stuff to take back to the parents' house. Got them bags there. Got a couple. Oh shit. Got a couple just. Ugh. Got a couple there. Got about 13 bags odd here so far. I've still got like my TV, my desk and all that. That can go last because that would be the hardest thing to do because I have to take the desk apart. So out a thing to come for PC and all that. So As you see my Jedi powers are far beyond yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check it. Hey yeah. Pick up the brush like Picasso, 93 Nas flow 200 on the 101 washes the Nas go Straight from the underground that lost flow Now we get Louis V back in the day as a kid it was Costco I stay breaded like Roscoe's Rap Messiah, me and my apostles I'm 33 but my rap years are fucking fossil Still kicking, still pushing, still grinding, still going Already knowing that I don't know shit Walk in the room, knew my intentions before I spoke it I took the record and broke it Feeling limitless, I'm feeling so focused This is all me, nobody co-wrote this And I hope this reach you when you need it Now that your wits and feel and depleted, keep being you. Fake motherfuckers, we seeing through. It's some rap shit. Come now, feel the flow with this beat. I've had my ups. Alright, guys, we are going. We are out of Prospect Street. Well, going out of Prospect Street now. I think in the last video, I said it was my last night, but you know, uh, I stayed an extra two nights due to some personal reasons. I will tell you guys uh, soon in a, in a future video or something like that, but. Yeah, all done over here now. Going to be doing some cleaning here as well with Jerry, like I think during the day today or tomorrow, I don't know. But yeah, so I will be staying in my works hotel for a few days and then I'm moving back to my parents again. I'll let you guys know why soon. But yeah. Made some memories in Prospect Street. Been a good year. Been a good ride. Uh, yeah, made made lots of memories here. A fair few. There's been ups. There's been downs. But yeah, on to the future. A few days in my work hotel. Back to my parents for the remaining few weeks or whatever. And we start uni. Move into a university accommodation. And yeah, we'll start the journey from there. Oh! Alrighty, so I've been to drop some stuff off at my nan's house, like literally just bedding and just little bits really. So yeah, she's gonna wa wash all that for me. And yeah, so I've just got a bag of clothes and my backpack, which I will take to my workplace Harry's. So I'm sorted with that one, all sorted. Now, what am I going to do with my day? Well, I'm going to help Jerry move some stuff over his last few bits into his new place. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what this uh, vlog actually is. But hey, we're going to get vlogging more persistently now. The vlogs will be getting better and better uh, when I'll be actually doing actual stuff so like university I'll do university vlogs I'll be doing vlogs when I'm on like university nights out and all that so yeah make sure you guys are tuning in make sure you guys are subscribing make sure you guys are clicking that notification bell so again little button so you get notification every time I upload so yeah click the like button bitches all right our prospect I'm now in here I'm in a hotel not just any hotel the hotel that I work in Harry's Hotel Bar and Bistro. So I'm in here for a few days and I will tell you guys why now. Okay, so the reason I'm staying in my works hotel for a few days, past few months, uh, my father hasn't been very well. First went in to the hospital May time with pneumonia and you know he was a bit a bit ill with it and all that. And then they spotted something on his uh, lungs, I think it was, or something like that, some white dots or something. And it took them a few months 
with tests and stuff like that and medicines or whatever to find out what was wrong. They couldn't fully find out what was wrong at first. They were saying it was leaning towards lymphoma. So I took a lot of tests, some being delayed and then getting the test done, a few months and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, my dad's got teeth. They, they, find, they found out the other day, well, last week or whenever that my dad has T-cell lymphoma. It is quite a rare one, but it is a uh, high in the curable percentage. So he's on the chemotherapy. He started his first session last week. So yeah, he's on that. He's gonna be on steroids to shrink the lymphoma and for the, to like help wipe it out a little bit and all that and all his bad cells and stuff. So moving forward, moving forward, at one point he was in a ward with someone who's got coronavirus and you know he ended up getting coronavirus which kind of <laughs> slowed down the process just a, a little bit but he is he is recovering from that now like he's getting a little bit better but yeah just because of the coronavirus his temperature is going up a bit but yeah he's they, they, they keep giving him medicine and stuff so then that can get sorted and then you know my mum, my mum, my mum's been visiting him in hospital as well, like quite often, and she ended up getting coronavirus. So I can't move home yet until both of them are clear of coronavirus. So yeah, this that's the reason I'm staying in here. I'm not in my parents for the time being. Um, yeah, I could, I could have stayed at my nan's, but she has got new Wi-Fi, so <laughs> can't be living without Wi-Fi for a few days. So yeah, um, I've got my laptop and stuff, so I can still edit videos. I can watch YouTube and stuff like that. But yeah, so uh, yeah, this is the reason why I'm not in my parents at the moment. Just wait until my dad comes home and he's clear from coronavirus, and until my mum's clear of coronavirus, then I'll be able to move home and all that. It'll be a tough process for my dad throughout the few months, but. He's still young, well he's 59, but yeah, he's still youngish, he's very fit and healthy, so he'll get through it, he'll push through it, so yeah. Uh, so I just thought I'd take the time just to explain that to you guys, I know I probably explained it very bad, I don't know, I don't know, I just explained what I know, so yeah, that's the reason. But nonetheless, I'll just give you a little tour of the little hotel room I'm staying in. Obviously it's only for a few days, so it will... It will do for now, you know. Got a little draw table, tea, coffee. I don't drink any of them. Got a little TV there. I hope it works, and I hope I can like watch Family Guy or something on it. Got the bed, nice comfy bed. Got a little mirror. Hey guys, and then we got a bathroom, shower, shitter, sink, mirror, and me. Oh yeah! Alright guys, I have completed my stay in work for the past like five-ish days. Finally going back home, going back there for like a month or so and then I'll be going to a student accommodation because in September I'll be going to university in my hometown Aberystwyth so yeah, that'll be a shock to the system. Been out of, ugh, been out of education since 2019. And if you asked me when I was like 18 about uni, I would have laughed in your face and said, nope, never, ever. And look at me now, 2023 and going into university, Christ. But yeah, we're going back home now, today. We finished our stay here. So yeah, wow. I don't actually know what this vlog is. It's very random. There's different clips with different days. I don't even know what this vlog is, but if you guys are enjoying it, make sure you click that like button, make sure you subscribe it if you haven't already subscribed, and click that notification bell, because then you get notified when I upload a video, and you don't want to miss any future videos from me, because I'll be uploading bangers after bangers after bangers after bangers, so make sure you stay tuned for that, you little fuckers. Alright, so we're back home, and yeah, I've got quite a lot of shit here to sort out. Currently just sorting out my desk setup again. Like the screens on this thing. Hello, hello. And yeah, then I'll sort out my PC, put it in there where it originally is, and I'll sort out all the wires and all that shit. But yeah, should be fun. 
try and get it done ASAP because I do want to get back to streaming. I do need to get some videos edited, but I'm doing that on my laptop because I reckon it's just easier. I can do it when I'm out of the house or whatever. So yeah, I can start editing my videos on my laptop now. Just use my PC for gaming, streaming, and that is literally it. Just so I can save some space and not, like, slow down my PC or whatever, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. All right. So we've sorted out everything here. No mess. No more. I think I've got everything. Everything to do with my PC and all that stuff. So yeah, all sorted. But I haven't got any fucking electric because some fucking idiot drove into a fucking pole. Ah, drive slowly, you cunt. All right, so update from the last clip. I was saying I had no electric. This is now like a couple of days afterwards. We had electric come back at 9 p.m. that day. So yeah, managed to get some stuff done. My room is all sorted. And uh, yeah, that, that's just what I'm um, dealing with for now until I go to university in September and I'll go to uh, accommodation and whatnot. Currently, taking Ollie for a walk right now my mum well me my mum and the dog have just been down to my uncle's place in the industrial state over here to get a car checked because uh, she thought there was something wrong with her fil air filter or something so yeah she has to buy a new air filter because it looked like a big burnt loaf of bread and she has to have brake fluid in because there's like a, a warning sign showing up on, on a car, so that's gone now, that's fine. And now she just needs to get some fucking, she needs to get, what is it? Her brake pads replaced, and I've got a wasp on my thumb right now, so... <gasps> Off it goes. Hopefully it doesn't come back to sting me. It looked, well, I wasn't sure if it was a wasp, it looked like a wasp. Or maybe just a small version of a wasp, I don't fucking know what it was. But hey ho, here comes Ollie, running. He'll probably go in the um, in the river right now, but yeah, um, I don't really know what this vlog is because it's been a load of different clips from a load of different days. But you know what? It's like I don't know. It's kind of a random vlog this one, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you're clicking that subscribe button right now. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you click that notification bell. So you know exactly when I've uploaded a new video. You can get onto it straight away and you can share it with your friends. Get your friends, get their friends share it. Get their friends, friends and friends share it. And I'm going to stop the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you for the support. Hope you guys enjoyed the Heaven Over Hollywood tours. And you know what? I'm going to keep on, I'm going to make this like a trend for like every single video. So whoever shares this vlog, I'm going to shout out people in the next video. I'm going to keep on doing that for future videos just so like I know who's supporting so I can give the support back to shout them out whether they're on social media or not you can follow them or whatever I don't know whoever whatever it's just a sign of respect really just a thank you for like to my supporters for sharing so yeah hope you guys enjoy your week weekend day night or whatever and I'll see you guys in the next one until then peace out